Thank you very much for attending this webinar. Today, we'll focus on the mattress panel, which is the part of the mattress you are producing on your quilting machines. It is mainly composed or basically composed with the ticking, which is the upper fabric of the mattress, fibers or not, then layers of foam and a span bond, which is backing the foam. So we'll see together how to reduce the production cost of your quilted mattress panel. The technology we'll be introducing you today has many options and possibilities. So we'll divide it in two main groups. The first group will be how to replace and substitute the thermobonded polyester running roll. And the second is how we'll be able to replace some thickness of the foam into your quilted mattress panels. Most of the manufacturers who are using thermobonded wadding rolls, polyester thermobonded wadding rolls into their mattress panel, it is mainly to increase the quality, the comfort, to improve the insulation, and to get even a better visibility of their mattress. And we'll see the technology which will be able to replace this expensive thermobonded wadding with simple polyester raw fibers from Bailey. And this is without any heating nor chemical treatment. The second group is the saving of some of the foam you are using in the mattress panel. And this is will be doing it by replace some of the sickness with your own clean, I am insisting on clean, quilted production scrap and your clean foam scrap. So let's see the technology which allows you now to replace the thermobonded wadding group. So this will be the line, as you can see it on your screen, to replace it. So it is composed by a hopper feeder. This hopper feeder, you will feed a complete bale in this machine. This machine will break the bale and feed automatically the next machine, which is a fine opener. This fine opener will give the maximum volume and springness to the fiber of polyester you will be using. And then automatically, it will send this open fiber to what we call the direct feeding system. The direct feeding system is a vertical carding machine. And this carding machine will lay down this polyester fiber in a very homogeneous pad, which will be coming out of this machine. This regular and homogeneous pad, you can adjust the thickness from 120 gram per square meter to 800 gram per square meter. And the width, you will be able to adjust its width from 1.6 meter to 2.8 meter if you wish. So the pad coming out of this direct feeding system, you will be able to put your usual layers you are putting in your quilted mattress panel. For example, on the top ticking, under this pad, you can put, for example, your foam or the latex or disco, and then the span bond, which is backing all these layers. All these layers will be feeding any of your multi-needle quilting machine. It could be new, it could be old, it could be mechanical, electronic. This is our responsibility to synchronize this line to the quilted machines of your choice. And by that way, you will be able to produce directly your final panel. Take into consideration that the operator of your quilting machine will be the same operator who will be running the full line as this line is fully synchronized. The only thing that you will have one operator every one or two hours, which will have to feed one new bale of 250, 280 kilos into the hopper feeder in order to be able to have a continuous feeding without stoppage of the pad coming out from our direct feeding system. So one operator on the line and say 10 minutes every one or two hours, another operator or the same operator if the line is running to feed the bale into the hopper feeder. Now we'll see, show you a small video how this line is running and what are the components and the different set and step of this line.
The saving calculation is simple. It is also obvious, which is the difference between one kilogram of polyester thermobonded and one kilogram of raw polyester fiber. And of course, according to your conception, you will be able to calculate the time of your payback. But additionally to this saving of raw material, you will also be saving cost thanks to no frequent unloading of the trucks coming with this roll, then moving this roll from the truck to your storage, to cost of volume and storage, then to move these rolls from the storage to the quilting machine. And you will be also saving time of your operator because when you are using thermobonded wadding roll, if we take into consideration that this roll has a length of around 40 meters, and say your quilting machine, you are producing a design which run at two meters per minute. That means that every 20 to 30 minutes, this roll will finish and your operator will have to feed the machine with one roll, okay? But while with the die feeding system, this continuous feeding of fiber without storage. And the last very important point is you will be able to choose the quality of raw material you will be using into your quilted mattress panels. That means that you can use, for example, 100% virgin polyester fibers, hollow siliconized conjugate, or if you want, you can use regenerated polyester fibers coming from the plastic bottle. And also it could be solid, it could be hollow, it could be siliconized or not. You can even blend different material to make pad of different raw material, like for example, polyester cotton or polyester viscose, which is mainly used, especially for flame retardant. And also on the same line, the same technology, the same machine, so the same open feeder, the same pan opener and the same daily feeding system, you will be able to use raw material from natural fiber. That means, for example, you can use cotton or you can use wool. I am sure that some of you, they are thinking, okay, it looks really very interesting, but what to do if you have several quilting machines consuming thermobonded wool? So for this case, we have also two main options. And this option, the choice of these options will depend really on the quantity of thermobonded rolls you are consuming and of course the number of machines you are keeping. So the first option is for a big volume consumption will be to put, as you can see in the video now, one direct feeding system behind each of your quilting machines. Taking into consideration that one hopper feeder and one opener will be able to feed, as you can see in the picture, three quilting machines simultaneously to make final mattress panel. The second option, this is for you have a lower consumption of fiber. And in this case, we'll take the initial line, which is one hopper feeder, one fine opener, one direct feeding system. And that direct feeding system, you will be able to connected to a very simple quilting machine. We need really a machine with one bar because we will not make any design. Then on this machine also, we will reduce the number of needles to five needles, two on the lateral side, three in between the widths. And also we will adjust the stitching of this quilting machine to the longest stitch you can set. Why? in order to get the maximum numbers of meters per minute production. So we will produce with this line, the pads, as we have seen at the beginning, a pad of fiber from, we said 120 gram to 800 gram. And then instead of putting the normal layers and with the normal component you are putting in your matrix panel, like fabric, uh, foam, et cetera, no. We put only two fine span bond, one on the top, of the polyester fiber and one under the polyester fiber. And then these three components, which are the two span bond between 
the pad of fiber which has been laid down by our dry feeding system will feed this quilting machine. We are talking the simple quilting machine. And the stitch will be a soft stitch in straight line just to keep these layers together. And after the quilting machine, you will be able to roll it. And this roll, you will be able to cut panels for your mono needle quilting machine, mono head quilting machine, or to fit big rolls to your double head continuous quilting machine, or of course, any of your multi needle quilting machine, taking into consideration that you can make really very big roll, much big, bigger than the 40 meter you are usually using for the demo. So now we we'll see a small video showing how these lines are. So now we are going to see the second group. The second group will be how to save some thickness of foam into your mattress panel. Until today, foam is the basic element in most of the mattresses manufactured around the world. And as you know, there is big variation of prices of foam, mostly increasing without mentioning sometimes delays or lack of delivery of the raw materials like TDI and polyester. So in Macias, we'll suggest you to replace some of the thickness of foam, say one, two or three centimeters of this foam used in your quilted mattress panels by your own clean quilted scrap and your own clean foam. And this is, we will keep the performance, the quality, and even will increase the breathability of the mattress. To do that, we will see three steps. These three steps are complementary. The first step is, for example, to use only 100% of your quilted mattress scrap. So as you can see in this picture, all your production scrap of quilts could be salvages, wrong panels, or whatever, which are, of course, quilted, can be feeding this defibrillating machine, which will really open it again. After opening, it will go to the second machine we see in the picture, which is a de-dusting machine, because when you shred foam and fabric, it makes some dust. And of course, we need to separate this dust before using it into a new mattress panel again. So after the fibering, this will be feeding automatically what we call the direct feeding line or the vertical carding machine, which will lay down this opened fibers and foam into a regular homogeneous layer. And this is, will be connected to your quilting machine, enabling to make, again, final panel for your mattress or rolls of pad between two span bond to use it in different quilting machines. So after this, this first step, I'm sure that most of you, they don't have enough quality quantity 
of scraps, quilted scraps to run this line one or two sheep. So we'll go to the second step. The second step, as you can see, the scraps we have seen just before, it's in green color. And in this case, we will feed one room of an accumulator. And then we'll add to this quilted scrap the polyester fiber. The polyester fiber, as we have seen in the first step, you have a bell breaker, then a fine opener to give the maximum springiness, and then we'll send this open fiber to the second room, which is red into the accumulator. And then we'll be adjusting the accumulator to get the percentage we want from each of the two components. So we can adjust it 50, 50, 70, 30, 80, 20, whatever we want. Then it will be blended homogeneously and sent to, again, the same, always the same direct feeding line. And the direct feeding line we lay it down into again a regular and homogeneous pad, and this pad will be feeding any of your multi needle quilting machine to make final panel or in between two span bond to produce rows which can be used in other quilting machines. To these two steps now, we'll add the third one, and this is the most complete line which will allow you really to use all your scraps of your production of the quilted mattress pad. So you have here a hopper feeder with a fine opener, which is in red to feed one chamber. Then you have the defibering, which is green to feed the second chamber. And then you have the foam cutting machine, which is blue. The foam cutting machine, you can use, of course, if you wish, a shredder of foam. The problem of the shredder is that you will have uneven pieces of foam, and it will make a lot of dust because you are breaking the foam. So we recommend, if you wish, is to use a foam cutting machine. This foam cutting machine will cut really your waist and shrub of foam into very regular sticks from eight by eight millimeter and will create much less dust than the shredder. And it will feed the third accumulator of the third chamber of the accumulator. Here also, we'll be able to adjust the percentage of each chamber. Then it will fall down on a conveyor. We'll blend it really very obviously. And it will go again to the same direct feeding line, which we lay down in a very regular way. And this will feed any of your multi-needle quilting machine. What I would like to add is that up to now, we have been talking only about the quilted mattress panels, but these layers with this composition will be able also to be used in the cushioning part of the mattress situated between the felt or the spring and the quilted mattress panel. So you can use it in the quilted mattress panels, but also in the lower part, which is between the, the spring and the mattress panel. So now we'll show you a video of how it runs.
prices of fiber and foam will be different in each country and for each manufacturer. And as you have seen this last year, it's mostly increasing with big variation. Also, each of you will give a different estimated value to his own quilted strap and fold strap. So I invite you to make a possible saving calculation. And to do that, I will give you some information, basic information, like one centimeter of thickness of foam having a density of 18 kilogram per cubic meter can be replaced and substituted by 300 grams per square meter of this blend of foam with fiber with quilted strap. So I invite you to make this calculation. And of course, we will be very pleased to participate if you wish. We would like to point out that we already have nearly 200 lines around the world running in the five continents. So we have lines from United States to Australia and New Zealand, and from China to Peru and Argentina. I would like just to underline and point out that this line, as you have seen, it's combined cost saving, quality, performance, flexibility, and also sustainability, thanks to each other. Next week, Macias will be participating in the most important machine mattress exhibition in the United States in Orlando, ISPA. And it will take place from the 8th to the 10th of March. And we'll be present, and our booth number is 1534. So thank you very, very much for your attention. And now I believe we have around 10 minutes to be able to answer any of your questions, if you wish. Yes. So I hope it was of your interest. And now I will be answering, of course, with pleasure, uh, your question. So I believe I have a first question from Benoit, who is asking, what about consisting in time in material depression? As I mentioned during the presentation, we maintain exactly the same quality. And I would like to share with you, and I will read it in order to give you the exact term for which I, how I received it, that we have made two mattresses, one with 400 gram per square meter of thermobonded, and the other one with 400 grams per square meter of open fiber laid down by the direct feeding system. And we have made a layer under the thermobonded and the fiber of a foam of 18 gram per square meter. And this is a result which I will read you. We performed 100,000 cycle roll test with 203 pounds, which is 105 kilo wood hexagon shaped roller on both of the mattresses construction, the one of the fiber and the other one with the thermobonded. Both of them has slight impression from the passes of the roller with an identical result. I feel very comfortable stating these two products are identical in performance after simulation 10 years cycle testing. So, of course, there have been many, many tests during these years, and most of them are very close to that one. Of course, if there is other question, perhaps. Yeah, there is a question from Ahmed. Good afternoon, Ahmed. So could you explain, please, how to pond these three material together? Yes, as I told you, uh, you put the three material into three separate chamber of an accumulator. And then you are loading the three material at different speed to get different percentage of each material. And after that, there is a blender which will blend all the three material to get a homogeneous really pad. What I would like really to insist that on your mattress panel, usually you are putting ticking fiber foam span bond. The blend we have been talking about of the three material is exactly the same material, good material you are using in the mattress. 
The only difference that instead of having it in layers, you have it, it all blended together. And this is why we are giving it another component and useful component to substitute some form. So I don't know if there is any other question. Okay, while waiting, if there is another question, I would like to share with you also another email I received from a customer. That customer was using thermobonded, and instead of the thermobonded, he has been using 100% recycled quilts onto his panels. And this is the result. To date, we are very happy with the program. We have found that for 420 grams of bonded product, which is polyester thermobonded fiber, we need to use 550 grams of unbonded, which is the regenerated fiber, which has been uh, generated panel, a matrix panel. So this is the fabric, the foam, the matrix all together of unbounded to give the same appearance and loft. This obviously affects the saving, but still making the program very cost effective. Do you have another question, Alan? So if you're opener for the quilting scrap able to open quilted material with span bone tente. Yes, absolutely, Alexandru. Uh, it is, I would say, the same machine. We have a machine which you call the fabric machine. This defibring machine, we can set the machine with different types of cylinders, feeding cylinders and opening cylinders. And depending really of the type of material you have to open, we are giving different clothing or different pins to the opener cylinder. For example, if you want to recycle 100% non-woven, we put really wires on the cylinder. If you, got, if you want to get really the form of your critic panel very, very thin, we put also a high density of small pin. But they have some customers they prefer to have when they share and when they shred and they regenerate the quilted mattress panel. What they want is to have big pieces of the biggest possible pieces of foam in order to give the maximum resilience. So in that case, we are putting a special cylinder with less density of pin and also bigger pin, which will be opening the fiber, uh, opening the ticking and breaking the foam, but into bigger pieces. Another question from Ahmed is, you mean there is no other substances to bond all three or it's bonded terminal? No, no. As I said, the big, big advantage of this technology that there is no chemical, there is no heating, there is no thermal bonded. So this is only, I would say, thanks to the direct feeding system, which is the vertical carding. Uh, we are entangling all this material together mechanically but there is not any addition chemical. And of course, no heating. And this is really the, I would say, the positive point of this technology. There is for, a question from Pebble. Yeah, Pebble. For all three material together. What is the minimum monthly production volume that is reasonable for this line? For the minimum, as I told you, the minimum, minimum, when you are using three components, that means that you are using foam, it would be around 150, 180 gram per square meter. Why? If you are using 100% fiber, then you can go down to 120 gram per square meter. And for the same material, as I told you, you can put the percentage you want. So of course, the weight can vary a little bit if you are putting 50% foam or 70% foam, or even you can put up to 80% foam. But what I would like really to point out also, is that you cannot run on the direct feeding line 100% foam. You need minimum, minimum, I would say 15% fibers to keep, I would say, the pad consistent. Benoit. You may have mentioned it. What is the cost for scrap panel quilts recycling line? Look, Benoit, for the cost of the line, as you see, we have many, many options, many possibilities. So you are welcome anytime to contact with us directly. 
And as I told you, we will be very pleased to participate in your own calculation in order to see the saving comparing really to the investment you will have to do and how quick you can get your payback. What I would like to add that according to our experience and the number of lines we have been installed, if you are running a quilting machine two shifts, which means about 15 hours a day, the payback, it will be between 12 to 16 months, depending on the countries and depending on the value you are giving to your form and your scrap. I don't see any other question for the time being. Thank you, thank you from Benoit and from Bebel. So I will give you 10, 15 more seconds if there is any doubt. And if not, you are always welcome to contact us anytime. Now we show you the email. Uh, so you can send us all your requests by email. And of course, we can make it through video conference, chat, visiting you. And as I told you, next week we'll be exhibiting at Expo ISPA in United States. And of course, for all the persons who will be visiting this exhibition, they are welcome to our stand. I remember the number again, it's our booth 1534. So thank you very, very much for your attention, for your presence, and hoping that very soon we'll be able to talk more about this technology together. Thank you very much and have a good afternoon. Thank you or a good day for the companies who are on the other side of the world. Thank you. Bye-bye.